Hello, I am Raziel, and okay, this is a video I didn't think I'd ever make. Uh, so, uh, what I'm going to epic, epic is going to be a weird one. This is a bizarre video. I'm, I'm not even joking. I am. Um, I'll tell you what. This is my fourth take on this video, and I'm still blown away. I'm trying to wrap my head around this. And okay, let's start from the beginning. The big box. We know the price now. It's 120 quid. Yeah, that's kind of steep for a starter set. I mean, if we look at comparable boxes, Armada and Dystopian Wars, they are £95 each, so they're cheaper. It's, they are cheaper by £25, which, okay, is the way it is. And I, I don't know what to say about that. Like, that is a starter set. And also, the price is actually pretty low for Games Workshop. So they're looking at it, and they're really going to go, oh, uh, yeah, let's drop the price. And they have dropped the price. Well... Yeah, they've dropped the price um, from the last big box. So, what I wanted to talk about as well was the reboxing, the rebranding of things like the Titanica stuff, the Aeronautica stuff. Well, they're not going up in price either. They are the same price. They are absolutely the same price. And they, you know, the Thunderhawk is still 30 quid. The Warlord Titan is still £70. Pound. The uh, Reaver is still 37.50. They're all still the same price. They're not going up, which is fantastic. This is just shows that Games Workshop are listening to what people are saying about people, you know, them being greedy. Going, well, you're greedy. We just don't want to give you our money to a greedy company, you know. So the fact is they, they didn't take this chance to up their price. Good for them. I mean, it really is good for them, you know. Fantastic. So... But this is where it gets weird. This is where the video video takes a bizarre twist. There's a couple of other smaller scale games. And I'm only about to talk about ones that I know about. I know Battletech exists. I uh, don't know much about the game. And I have an issue with Battletech because I actually happen to enjoy building models. I don't like the idea that models come already built. It's something I don't like. It's a turn off for me for any war game if a models come built. I mean Battletech law is good. And the gameplay looks pretty fun. I've seen a couple of video games. It looks fun. But I can't talk about something I don't have that much knowledge in. However, Armada and Dystopian Wars, I'm actually quite good at. Because they're two games I enjoy. And that's the thing. Now, the starter sets, as I've said, are cheaper than Epic. But if we were to compare boxes and models and prices of Epic and, you know, Armada, it's weird because this is a... Games Workshop's the cheaper option now and i didn't think i'd say that and let me and even model count as well that's the other weird thing model count of this if, for, if we do like t a nice army for uh epic and a nice army for armada and do a decent model count for both uh, epic's cheaper uh yeah games workshop's cheaper and that's weird that's bizarre I, I, I don't like repeating myself in my videos, but this is something that's astounded me. Absolutely uh, befuddled me. It's weird. All right, I'm going to talk about, yes, the extra Kratos in the box, because a billion-dollar company can't seem to get that bit right. But we're going to talk about the price of the individuals. Now, the individual models or kits are £30 each at the moment for Epic. Okay, that's a nice round price. It's decent, and we see every price at that. Baneblade, Kratos, Imperial, or Zero Auxilia, uh, Astartes, Rhino Detachments, all £30. Fantastic, which means we can see that there might be this, you know, general pattern going along that these are what the prices are going to be. Great, okay, fantastic. I like it because it means, you know, you can budget an army a lot easier if they're all the same price. Okay, and you get two Bane Blades. The infantry for your Astartes is actually pretty sizable, and the amount of Rhinos you get is just a joke. So... Now, if we take the Kratos, the Astartes Infantry, and the Rhino Boxes, which is going to cost you £90 for all three, and then compare it to a fleet for Mantix Armada, which will cost you £100, automatically, straight away, you're like, wait a minute, why is Games Workshop £10 cheaper? Why am I paying, paying less for an army for Epic than I would for a fleet for Mantic, for Armada? I, this is this is bizarre land to me, and that is just that's just something else. And I don't understand it. It's, this is something weird. Now, with this open wars for you know we've got a couple, 
you're going to spend about £85 top end for a fleet for them, uh, for dystopian wars. So yeah, so it's right in the middle there, it's on the same sort of budget line as dystopian wars, and it's something else, it's really weird. I, I, I take, Like I said, I'm absolutely confused, this is, this is bizarro world right now. You know, Raw Paths drop in next week, next year I should say. For and it's interesting to see how they clap back. How will Mantic go back? You know, say, "Hey, this is our game, and this is how much we're doing for it." You know, so. But let's continue talking about Epic and how it's weirdly priced. Like I said, everything's going to be thirty quid. Okay, we've got, which is fantastic. So if you want a decent start army, uh, let's say you're doing starties, it's going to cost you over two hundred and ten pound if you get the box too. But even then, you don't have to, because you can get pretty much the box plus the uh, rule book. Do they have a rule book here? Uh, no, they haven't got the rule book individually priced. And so it's going to cost you about, you know, about £120 to £130 for the army you want. Which is fantastic. I'm just going on what the usual cost of the book is, plus the cards. Which is usually about 10 15 quid. So Fantastic. It's just really good. And I think a lot of this may be Games Workshop realising they actually do have competition. Now, I know people go, oh, Games Workshop don't have competition. They're too big to fail. They're too big to have competition. They're so big and popular. You know, well, you're, we do. Here's the thing. There hasn't been an actual sales increase from Games Workshop. They've had a profit increase, yes, but they didn't actually have a sales increase. I've said this before, and it's worth noting. But what's worth noting is where but does the profit come from? The profit comes from, well, licensing out Games Workshop IP, you know, to things like Focus Interactive. And they had a massive drop in outgoings. A really big drop from last year. Because they had new machines. So where there was no increase and people were still buying the same amount, they got more money coming in because less money was going out. Which is good, alright? And so they obviously saw that next year they're not going to have the same drop in outgoing. So they're going to have to start considering prices. And the fact is, they are. I was looking at other prices. Like, if we look at Warhammer 40k and Firefight and Wild West Exodus. Uh, those are the three games I play. So those are the three games I'm going to compare. Now, Wild West Exodus, yes, is a skirmish game. And you can start at a lot much lower price. Like, you buy one box and get the rule books. It's, that's all you need. But if we're going to start for big armies, we'll look at the starter sets for all three of these. Now, the starter set for Warhammer 40k is £65, and the model count's pretty decent this time, it's, you know, especially if you're doing Tyranids. It's 12 models if you're doing Space Marines. Now, the, no, 9 model, uh, 10, 11 models if you're doing uh, to, uh, Space Marines, I should say. I forgot you don't get the Librarian, but you get lots for the Tyranids. And you get a rule book, which is Beth very slimmed down one and it's more of a handbook on how to build the models how to paint how to do everything to start the hobby it's a starter set into warhammer 40k the next box is wild west exodus you get a lot more models uh you get vehicles as well you get bikes you get named characters and you get the rule book a full rule book templates dice you know, everything you need and that's cost you 94 pounds again you do get more and but you know that's it you get more and it's better than next year for £29. And finally, you have Firefight, which is £95. A lot more models. You get a full rule book. You get a full army book as well. So, there you go. And there you go. And that's just like the best bit about it. Now, when I was talking about this, of course, this is starting into a game. Okay? So, anything else is extra. If you like building more armies, you are going to pay out more. And that's when games work. So, the prices do increase incredibly. This is about starting in. And those boxes... And that's really weird. And like I said, Epic being the cheaper option at the moment is just bizarre to me. It's cheaper than Mantic. And I don't know what to make of this. It's just confused me. It's a bizarre world. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. What do you guys think? Do you think Games Workshop's learning? Do you think they actually sort of started listening to people? And, well, I want to see your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Day. I'll see you all again in the next one. Wayland Games link down below if you wish to save up to 20% on your Warhammer and other games. Like if you want to try romantic games, try them out. And free delivery after 20 quid. There is Forbidden Planet as well. You know, comics, the plushies, toys, etc. All the cool stuff. If you're into geeky stuff, you know, anime, comic, and comics, 
down below as well. There is my comic, which is about Red Riding Hood taking on werewolves and cyborg werewolves and Lovecraftian monsters with a big axe. And her friend Raziel. Yeah. It's not a self-insert, I promise you that. I just happen to like the name. And he's been an old character of mine for years. He's actually the artwork in this, by the way. You see him in the corner. And this red, and Lil Red is in the other corner. Okay. Anyway. And then there is, of course, my merchandise, cups, t-shirts, extra, what everyone else does. I'm doing the same from Redbubble. And there you go. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you again soon. Oh, Patreon. Oh, keep forgetting about that. I'm going to jack it in once i got enough views. And, you know, enough. And I can monetize the channel. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.